So in this guide I'm going to show you how to effectively command your AI crew when you're playing alone. I think some of this might also be useful when you play multiplayer. So I just started a completely new game with default uh, crew and the dugong ship. I have my captain and I think the electrical engineer and the mechanical engineer. Now first I'm going to talk to you about how to give orders and order priority. So there's two ways to give orders. The first one is you middle click and you have four order categories. So for example in this ship the reactor is still offline so if you want to give the command to turn it on go over to operate, left click and then you go to operate reactor and again left click. And again left click power up. Now the game will also select the most capable person to go down to the rack room and start it up. In most cases, just giving orders this way is sufficient because the game picks the, the best guy for the job and it should work in theory. However, there are situations where using orders this way can get in your way. Okay, I'm going to show you an example of that. Okay, so this guy is handling the reactor. And I also want somebody to fix the leaks on the ship. And repair electrical systems. And repair mechanical systems. And then I'd also like somebody to go the O2 tanks. And load ammo into the guns. Notice what happened. Um, some of the orders get skipped out of the queue because each character can only hold three different orders. And if you give too many orders, some orders get thrown. Some orders get thrown out again, which can get very problematic when you're in a combat situation or you're expecting combat and your gunners suddenly throw out their manning the gun order. Then you're sitting there and you don't have a gunner activating the guns. How do you prevent that? You can prevent that by manually giving orders and getting used to which crew member you're giving the orders to. So for example, let's say I want the first gun, that's the one over here. We always be manned by one specific character. This is especially important if you hire security officers. Those are people who are good with, I think, with regular weapons, firearms and ship guns. And you want those guys to man the guns always. So, if you want to man a specific item for a specific um, character, you middle click on the item while holding left shift. Now you can again do left mouse, pick the best guy for the job, or pick a specific person for the job with right mouse. I'm using right mouse, and I want Bert to use it. And our bird is not a gun. Now let's talk about order hierarchy. So each character can hold three different orders. And the order that's the furthermost to the left is the most important one. Which means Bird in this case will first check if any guns need reloading, then he will check if electrical systems need repairs, and only then he will mine the gun. Now this is a good way to play when you are not expecting combat right away. However, let's say the situation has changed, you're on the, you're on the sonar and you see something bad incoming. Then you can change those orders by holding left mouse and dragging the priority over here. Now the character will prioritize using guns or we're doing anything else. You can also completely remove an order by right clicking on it. And when you right click it once, it does that the type of symbol. I think that the purpose of that is that you tell him to stop doing that. However, the order is still saved in case you need it really quickly again. So if you left click again, it's in the queue again. And it gets prioritized after that. Now let's talk about combat. First I'm going to undock from this station. I'm going to slow down and go to hold position with autopilot. Okay, as you can see here, my sonar is on, detected something. But the problem I'm having here is there's nobody in the lower gun. 
I'm pressing escape so the game pauses for a moment. But let's say I want somebody to get on the gun quickly without having to mess around to get the right guy on it, okay? So then I'm going middle mouse, operate weapons, and then you pick that particular gun and press left mouse. This picks again the most capable person or most still conscious capable person to do it. Then a the person will start shooting. Okay, now I got nobody assigned for fixing leaks, and there's a leak in the engine room. Again, I'm picking maintenance, fix leaks. And you should always have at least one person to fix leaks. And if it's a combat situation, you probably need more than that. Now this character is going to know to fix it. And when there's nothing interesting to do anymore, then he does something else. Also notice, he lost the order for picking a gun. And if the guy has absolutely nothing to do right now, then this icon appears, which means idle. Also notice the halo around the object. That means that's the currently, currently the thing he's actively pursuing. Now let's talk about combat again. When you're traveling... I'm turning up so now. When you're traveling, and in this case I only have those two guns manned. And this gun, hardpoint, isn't even installed. Then you need to maneuver your ship. You have to basically do two things. The first thing is you have to keep your enemies in the firing arc of the gun. And at the same time, you have to keep them away from the ship hull. So how do you do that? So for example, you, then you go in this direction, and they're chasing you, and you keep them, let's say they're coming from this direction. Then you go down on the four o'clock and flee from them in that, in that way. Then they spend most of the time chasing you in the hardest way possible, and you get a lot of shots on them. Now, the most two, the two most important things for surviving combat are you need to have people on the guns firing, and you have to keep the enemies outside of your ship hull. Because the moment uh, some of the smaller alien creatures manage to penetrate the hull, and they start attacking the crew inside, then it's complete chaos, and your chance of survival go down very fast. Because the AI is currently not good at fighting melee against those enemies, and if you're trying to fix it yourself by using shotguns or any firearm, it's so chaotic you likely end up shooting your own guys. Remember that, to keep them in your firing arc so they chase you and keep them out of your ship home. An additional thing you can do is when you expect them to right about contact the ship hull, you can press electrical discharge call. Basically electrifies the entire ship hull and damages them slightly. And it requires the batteries to be charged up a certain amount for it to function. Another thing you can do is you can actually ram your enemies. It will damage them, and depending on the situation, you might be able to pin them between yourself and the rock and squish them like that, or maybe just keep them fixed so you can shoot at them. But it's just the corpse of the previous enemy I shot. And there's one last tip when you're using a ship like this. You don't always have to use your sonar. Because um, there's active and passive sonar. And sonar, for if, if you don't know what sonar actually is, it's... It's a system where your ship sends out a sonar ping, like that's the audio sound, the ping sound, and it reflects back from whatever it hits, and it gives you this this uh, this image over here. But the problem with that is it also attracts enemies, and most alien creatures, if they're about, the distance is about 50, 40 meters over here, if you zoomed out completely. And if they're at the edge of that screen, and the next ping, they're in here, then they detect you most of the time, and then they will chase you. So one way you can completely avoid them by being, st by being stealthy is just keeping your sonar off. Then you still got passive sonar. What does, what does passive sonar mean? Passive sonar means that your sonar detection system still f sort of functions, however, it doesn't send out its own ping. It doesn't uh, advertise itself to enemies. So how do you get still the signal from 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 a few things? That's because the the sound that your engines make, see that pulsating sound, it sends out sonar waves, and then they get reflected. So if there's something that's really close to you, like a wall, an enemy, you still see them with that sonar. Or if a large enemy AI moves around here, you can still see it. So the best way to use sonar is to just click once and click again. You don't actually have to wait until until the thing goes to the end. You can just go click, click, 
you still get that one thing completely. And if you see something bad, you want to avoid it, just keep it off and try to avoid it.